This video is about a, the UPSI problem solving strategy. UPSI is a four step problem solving method that we use in class to solve word problems. This is done across all Harmony schools. We do this in class, but it is also how we do test corrections. UPSI stands for Understand, Plan, Solve, and Evaluate. It's a four step problem solving uh, method. And this is what we, this is how we write it. We take up half a page and we, we draw these four quadrants and one of them is understand, next is plan, solve, and explain. And you don't have to write the whole word. You can just write the letters and that's fine. So this is a summary of what each quadrant is for. The understand uh, segment right here uh, what you do is you, you, you go to your original problem, you underline the actual question, and then you change that into a statement. And I'll give you an example in a moment. But this helps you understand what you're looking for. The next thing you do, you go to the planning stage. You circle all the numbers that are in your problem. You box all keywords. Cross out information. After you circle and box uh, those things, uh, you look at the things that you circled and boxed and cross out a out of that, you cross out information that's not important. Then you take that information and you write it here in an organized fashion. That way you've gotten rid of all the fluff and you know what information you have. Um, you know what you're looking for from this part and you know what, what information you have from this part. The solve, uh, the solve portion uh, is where you do your math work. You use operations, pictures, charts, or whatever you need to solve the problem. The explanation part, what you do is you just um, use one to three bullets to very briefly explain how you solved the problem. You don't write any numbers or computations. That's what goes here. You just um, very briefly explain what you did um, so that I, I can uh, feel confident that you understand the problem and didn't just guess. So, uh, or you can show why your answer is reasonable. That would work as well. So here's an example. Isabel worked 20 hours last week and earned $145.80. Nan worked 15 hours last week and earned $112.50. How much more does Nan earn per hour? So let's do the understand part first. You first underline the question and write an answer statement. So the question is, how much more does Nan earn per hour? We change that to an answer statement, uh, which uh, which looks like this. Nan earned blank more per hour than Isabel. Question, statement. Same thing, but if you write it like this, then it becomes more clear what you're looking for. Now, those students who did model drawing in the past, this should look familiar to, to them because this is part of model drawing. Okay, so now we're going to plan by uh, go to the planning stage by circling all the numbers, boxing all the keywords, crossing in, out information that's not important, and then write all that important information down. Okay, so 20 hours, 15 hours, $145.80, $112.50. Those are all the numbers I circled. And this one says, how much more uh, does Nan earn per hour? So here is what I put in the... Um, here is what I put in the um, planning stage. Isabel earned $145.80. She worked 20 hours. Nan worked $112.50. Uh, she earned $112.50. She worked uh, 15 hours. Okay? I don't care that it was last week. Um, I don't even actually care about their names, but I put them there to tell the difference between them. Um, only the... Vital, uh, important information is here, and all the fluff is gone. So then we go to the solve part. We take this information, we know what we're looking for, we know what information we have, and we solve the problem. So uh, here is here's the work right here. Isabel makes uh, this money and this much, uh, this amount of money in this many hours. We divide that and we get uh, seven dollars twenty nine cents an hour. Nan. We calculate her hourly pay. She makes $7.50 per hour. The question is, how much more does, does Nan earn per hour? So um, we have their, their per hour, uh, uh, their hourly amounts. Now we subtract them, and we find that Nan 
makes 21 cents per hour more. Now, we're going to go to the explain portion. Um, the explain portion, sorry if some of that's cut off. I found out how much money Isabel and Nan make per hour by dividing. That's this part here. And then I subtracted Isabel's hourly rate from Nan's. That very briefly explains what happens. Notice there's no, there are no numbers in this part. That's what the, the solving part is for. This should be, this should show that you understood the concept and understood what was happening. You don't, I don't want to see, I took $145.80 divided it by 20 and I got $7.29. That doesn't mean anything. This, this part where you're explaining what's happening is meaningful. That's what needs to be in the evaluate section. Okay, so when it's all done and you have your half a page filled in, this is what it should look like. In the understand quadrant, we have the, we have the um, answer statement. Nan earned blank more hours than Isabel. So I know what I'm looking for. I'm, I need to know how much Nan earned and I need to know how much Isabel earned and I need to know how much more Nan earned than Isabel. And then I, I went through my my problem and I circled numbers, I boxed important words, and I discovered that Isabel makes this much in this amount of time, Nan makes this much in this amount of time. That gives me enough information to calculate their hourly wages, which I did here. And once I found that out, I subtracted because I'm, I want, I, once I have their hourly wage, I still need to know how much more Nan earns per hour. And you have to show your work on this one too. Uh, in my explanation, I found out how much money Isabel and Nan make per hour by dividing, and then I subtracted the hourly rate. Notice how brief this is. This doesn't need to be a big old paragraph. And once again, no numbers. We're explaining what's happening, not explaining all the steps that you did, okay? Or not, not regurgitating the steps that you did.